Ah, oh, guys, I'll be going back and forth. Come on, Chansey, get up here. You can make it, you can make it. Periscope, hello. And YouTube, hello. I'm going to go back and forth between the two cameras. Chromebook, Periscope. Smartphone, Chromebook. YouTube, Periscope. But guys, if you properly format your videos, your reader ship will increase. You'll get a lot more reach. You'll get a lot more clicks, a lot more views. You'll grow your business. You'll expand your blog traffic. The problem is, though, most folks do a really poor job formatting their blog post. They're focusing on the content. Some people have the meat down cold, and that sounds almost perverted, but you know what I mean. They're really sharing that helpful, insightful content, but in the same regard, they do a really bad job packaging it. And like it or not, guys, and I learned this the hard way, pardon my French, people judge an ebook or book by its cover, and that's just the way that it is. Good evening, guys. Good evening, guys. It's Delilah Chancy Chanstein. So you may not be happy about it, but people do judge a book by its cover. And when you format your blog posts properly, effectively, and I'll show it, screen share for the YouTubers and Periscopers, follow me. Follow my words. And of course, on Periscope, you want to see the screen share, you got to subscribe to my YouTube channel. <clears throat> Your blog posts will be more visually appealing. They'll be more attractive. They'll be easier on the eyes. They'll be easier to scan. And when people can scan your content easily and process it, they're going to be a hell of a lot more likely to buy your stuff, to follow your call to action, to actually share the blog post. Because some folks, too, we know they're busy. They're scanners. I'm a scanner a lot of the time. I read a fair amount of stuff, but you guys know I have hundreds of things to do each day. So I can't really afford to go through line by line. And especially if a blog post is rough on the eyes, guys. There's so many bloggers out there who are doing such a smash-up job formatting. People will close your blog out, even if the content looks great. And they'll even read substandard content if it's easier to digest. So let's dive right into proper formatting for a blog post. I picked my latest one, five smart steps to increase your blogging success stupid quickly. And it's my latest blog post and blogging products. By the way, guys, if you haven't subscribed to my blog yet, I know a lot of folks are on the call. I always call a call. We're on the video on Periscope on YouTube. You have subscribed, but make sure you subscribe at bloggingfromparadise.com. You'll see the little updates bar. Join 60,000 BF peers. That's blogging from paradisers. Awesome folks like Mana and Chris and all my peeps. You guys rock, my buddies. They enjoy my updates. It's really smart blogging tips. That's what it boils down to. You want to build a successful blog, you're going to do it this way. So number one, I'm going to show in this screen share. See how I have this nice picture of a sweet man's, a mansion in Doha, Qatar. Qatar, I'll say it like the Arabic way, Qatar. This is my featured image for the post. And really, guys, if you want to... Format your post properly. Include eye candy. You'll see this eye-popping image of a mansion where we house sat about a year ago to the day in the wealthiest country in the world, Qatar, in the capital of Doha. And it's pretty eye-popping. And I just said, hey, it's the crib where we house sat in Doha, Qatar. And I like sharing images to images of places where we've traveled because that's part of the blogging from paradise brand. It's very eye popping other people. And for my guest posts, actually, I'd probably put a success featured image or maybe an intelligent featured image, a guy with a big brain, or, you know what I mean? Cause five smart steps to increase your blogging success, stupid quickly, or maybe the Roadrunner. that would be a guest post. Or if you want to do, do something, that's 100% aligned with the blog post title. I do things differently because I have the blogging from Paradise brand. People want these images of paradise, tropical paradises, desert paradises, you know, maybe cold places. Sometimes New York City, it's still paradise, still island hopping, guys. So when I do that and I share these images, you have a bit of eye candy. And when you want to format your post properly, you want to lead off with eye candy, something to reel people in right away. Because text itself, it just doesn't make the impact that as most of us live through our physical senses, rightly or wrongly, predominantly, when you have that image, it really does say a thousand words. So start off with that. And then as we scroll down, you're going to notice small, or in the first few paragraphs, just one-line paragraphs. Short, sweet paragraphs, what they do. Isa, Molly, the whole crew's here. 
Oh, I'm flattered. Short, smart, uh, short, well, they're smart, of course, but short and sweet paragraphs are easily scannable. So if somebody's busy as hell, or, chances, Dalal is pretty busy, they could scan your blog post quickly and easily. It's a seamless effort. You want to make your blog post scannable because, not just because people are busy, and some of them will be scanning, but because even if they're reading every single word, it's so much easier to read. Oh boy, here comes Isa. Short paragraphs, sweet paragraphs, short and sweet, couple sentences, one, two, maybe three. It just reads more easily, almost like when you're following a typewriter, an old school typewriter. You guys know what those are? I know it's, a, um, I'm 42, soon be 43. People always say that, right? In a month, actually, to the day, I will be 43. So <clears throat> you think of like how a typewriter goes back and forth and it's click, 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 and you're just slowly working your way down. Even if somebody's reading every single word, when you format it and as you scroll down, you'll see small paragraphs, a couple sentences, folks can easily read your blog post with minimal effort, very little effort. It'll be pleasing to the eyes. Then what you're going to find is my first header. I use an H2 bold header how to become a successful blogger. It's the keyword, so that kind of helps. But when you use bold headers frequently, H2 and some H3s, you break up the post. And you don't want this like big square, like some people who make this horrific mistake. Whoa, pardon me, Delilah. Pardon me, Miss Chancy Chanstein. They make this horrific mistake of, I just mean who's on the call there. Oh, shoot, my notes are my post. <laughs> they, Write blog posts on their phone. Oh, my God. And it's like a big block text, and you're like, oh, dot matrix me to help. You know, it's just, it's horrible. It's really, dot matrix is another reference. What the fuck is this guy talking about? Again, I'm going to be 43. Almost halfway to the century mark soon enough. And I still look pretty youthful. Kyla was just saying that downstairs. She looked at my face, and she's like, you know what? When I'm clean shaven and I have the short hair, of course, you're going to see some of the gray. You know, I didn't shoe polish it. So looking pretty, pretty, uh, pretty youthful. But when you break it up with headers, guys, H2 and H3 headers regularly, you're going to make the post more scannable again, more readable, and it's just going to be a more pleasant experience. It's going to be easier on the eyes. That's all formatting is, if you want to do it right. It's making something easier on the eyes so individuals can consume and share your content easily and with confidence. So they know by sharing it that they'll look good. Because the post looks good. So we're going to work our way down. A couple of decent uh, short paragraphs. One maybe a little longer than the other. Then you're going to see a benefits of reading this post. Another H2 header. It comes like three paragraphs after the last one. Like really use those headers a lot, guys. It's such a great way to chop things up. And to pull people's attention to these headers so they could think, you know, okay, benefits of reading this blog post. Then I use a bullet point. Using billet, no, billet points. Bullet point lists is an awesome, awesome way to increase your reader's focus. They kind of might be out there. They might be thinking about who's this guy so handsome who's doing this video and, you know, thinking about Ryan Bidoff, how good. No, they're not thinking about that. But their mind might be wandering a little bit or your mind might be wandering a little bit, as mine does, because we have, what, some 40,000 thoughts a day. And even if you do your yoga and meditation like me, spending an hour and a half a day, on the energy alone, in addition, in addition to your prayer and your exercise, your mind's going to wander. Again, 40,000 thoughts or a lot more, more. Mine's probably like 80,000. But when you have these bullet point lists, you pull your reader's attention right into the blog post. So you see benefits of reading this post. Learn how to increase your blogging success stupid quickly. Duh. That's me making a joke. I'm funny. I'm Leapfrog common blogging problems to feel the sweet success of being a pro blogger in years versus like never. Genuinely have fun on this blogging journey as you see greater success in less time. So when you're kind of focused on these bullet points, it pulls your readers more into your work. And again, it's another breaking mechanism. You're going to see that that's what this is kind of about, where you just don't have that. You have the continuity of your content flow, that's going to be cool and all well and good. But as far as the format, you're going to keep breaking it up. 
because uniform sucks. Uniform does not work. Like a one or two block paragraphs, it looks horrible. But when you use list point, uh, bullet points, it's getting late, guys. <clears throat> H2 tags, H3 tags, using these headers, short, sweet paragraphs, you're going to kill it in a good way. Because folks will be drawn into your work. You'll have that type of formatting tempo, if you will. Oh, battery's low, so I'm going to have to go pretty soon. I was going to go pretty soon anyway. And then I just break it down where I have a, a bullet point here, bullet point list, and then I go, one, do your energy work. I like using numbers. Some bloggers aren't big on numbers, but if I put six steps, I want to have a number and a colon after it. It just drills that point home. Short and sweet paragraphs, guys, on the screen share here. Another H2 header. Or actually, it's H3 header and H3 header. Another bullet point list. And you just see how these short, sweet paragraphs are easy to digest. So you can go right across, then down, then down, then down. Then I throw in an Amazon widget because I'm an associate. And I also have over 170 products on Amazon between my... That was for my smartphone. This is for my Chromebook. Between my... <clears throat> Ugh, it's cold here in New Jersey. It's finally getting warmer, but... Ebooks, audiobooks, and paperbacks. So then I have a nice little sweet widget here. And I bold out a little text. Bold text is good too. Also italics text. Five tips to raise your level of vibration ebook. And then I go right into the next H2 header to pay money to hire a skilled blogging coach or to buy blogging courses. A couple short paragraphs. I throw in another big image to break things up. You have a little bit of eye candy there. Then you have a little pop-up, a little subtle. Slider pop up there, become a professional blogger. Another reason to join my list. Yet another. And then I have this cute little paragraph where I use, oh, I guess I'm being a character, acting like a stable boy that's getting kick, kicked in the head like 75 times by his jackass donkey. I use quotes, being the stable boy from his perspective, and italicized text. So it's, again, italics, another bullet point list, H3s, I mean, the screen share is just easy enough to follow. And if you're following on Periscope, it's changing the tempo. H2s, H3s, bullet point lists, maybe a little paragraph when you're being silly or making a point in italics or bold, but you keep switching it up. Short, sweet paragraphs. And as you work your way get down, guys, H3, I do, oh, I use it two more, uh, two more widgets. Italian. I use two more widgets, then a couple more bold resources. Yeah, that's fine. I bolted out the resource world as well. Can a drunk opossum make four million on AdSense and a low? I'm weird. And then basically, guys, I get down to the end. The next step to take another H2 header and easy as pie. Your turn. Throw it over to my audience and I have comments too. Oh, wait a second. I have to refresh this. I already have like five comments. Why it didn't come up already? Will it come up on the refresh? Bingo. There's my man, Freddie Cabrera, and you'll see the comments field. My man, Ron Touche. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And Susan Velez. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh-oh. Did this go out? Oh, shoot. I started it over. Did I screw it up? Uh-oh. Well, we'll see if I did or I didn't. So, guys, I'm going to shut it down on Periscope. Thank you so much for joining. And, again, click the link, bloggingparadise.com backslash ebooks. Do a little shopping. Maybe you've grabbed some of my ebooks. If you haven't picked any up recently, pick up some more. I have plenty of helpful resources to help you build a successful blog. And if you want to live vicariously through me with my travel stories <clears throat> or you want a couple inspirational tidbits, go shopping. Go blogging from paradise hunting. You'll love it, guys. So thank you so much, Periscope. Mana, Chris, all you rocking folks out there, really appreciate the love. I'm going to roll, and then I'm going to do the screen share. Hopefully I didn't totally screw it up. So enjoy paradise all. Now it's going to start freezing. It's only right. There we go. And uh, screen share, people. Hopefully that's not two videos and it's one, but if it is, whatever. And hey, for you too, bloggingfromparadise.com backslash ebooks. These are really fun, insightful, well, insightful reads for building a thriving blogging business. But I have some really fun travel ones, some great inspirational ones, some ones on the law of attraction. And these are things I've learned through my almost seven years now of circling the globe to go from employee to full-time island hop and pro blogger. So until next time, I'll listen to myself on Periscope here. Enjoy paradise all.